I got a couple tape measures and it's Tuesday. You know what that means? It's Two Tip Tuesday. Yeah! Two Tip Free. Yeah! What's up, everybody? My name's Clint. Welcome to the Tool Review Zone. Yep, Tool Tip Tuesday. We got a couple boring tape measures here, which I mean, don't get me wrong, they're good for measuring and all, but you can do a really cool trick and I'm going to show you it under two minutes. Let's get it going. So we got two different types of tape measures here. One's a Milwaukee, one's a Lufkin. Does not matter what type of tape measure you have, it will work what I'm about to show you. So on the Lufkin one here, you have this area for a tether. We're gonna use that part for the trick. And on the Milwaukee, you can see we don't have any of that. No worries. All right, we're gonna use the Lufkin first. It doesn't matter if you have wood, plywood, drywall, whatever. Say you wanna cut a circumference. Well, I'm not very good with drawing a circle. So what I'm going to do is put my tape measure right down in the middle of my piece of wood. I'm gonna take my screw here. And I'm gonna sink it just like so. So now I'm gonna take my tape measure, I'm gonna bring it out to where I want it and lock it. Now all I have to do is put my pencil right here and check this out. Mind just blown. <laughs> so now I got a perfect four inch circle. That said, if I wanted a five inch, six, 20, 30, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is extend out your tape and you can do it. But what happens if you don't have one of those little tether areas in your tape measure? You can say to yourself, well, that's not real nice like. But don't worry, check this out. All I'm going to do is use the same pilot hole or if you need to start a new one, not a big deal. We're just gonna take that screw. I'm gonna take my tape measure, bring this out to four inches as well because I know that's the circumference I want. I'm going to lock it. Now all I need to do is put this like so right up against that screw. Take my pencil, put it in the same position and draw it out. What? If I wanna make this circumference bigger, again, just extend out your tape. Bring that like so, hold your pencil straight, come down. And that's real nice like. And there you go, that's your two minute tool tip Tuesday. Let me know if you like this tip. Have you used this trick before? Leave me a comment in the comment section. Love hearing your feedback. Is there any other tips that you know about when it comes to tape measures or any other tools? If so, leave me a comment in the comment section and if you are selected, I will give you a shout out with your tip on the channel. This one right here, I think I've seen on Pinterest or Instagram. As much as I would love to say that I came up with this idea, I did not. But you might not have known about it. And that's why I'm bringing it to the channel. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button because it's, it's greatly appreciated. Get subscribed and hit that bell notification if you want to see more tips coming soon. I always appreciate you stopping by. With that, we'll be back with more videos soon.